if you don't reach out to others, a lot of times you don't get that pull. Why? Because we are here to serve one another. We are here to help one another, but we got to help with a bigger help than, we've get, than we are, put it that way. See, I can't help you, but I can let the one who's in me help you. If I'll be bold enough and have enough faith to step out and have enough faith to say it, then he can help you. So I have to get my mind off of myself and get my mind on him and know, you know what? He can do this. And then you just step forward and go, here we go. But I will tell you this, my words are stronger than my hands. Why? You say, well, I thought it's a spirit with both. It is, but hands are limited. I can only lay hands on you if you're here. But with my words, I can get on the telephone, and if you're sick in Australia, we can speak a word and set you free across continents. Why? Because it's his word. His word is that powerful. And when you get his word in you, you become that powerful. And you get strengthened with his life. But it all comes because at some point, you just got to take a deep breath, step out. Choose to be the person you know you're supposed to be. Not the person maybe you have been. You may have to go somewhere else to do it because sometimes the people that know you that well, they already know you and they're not going to give you a chance. But if you'll step out, God will meet you. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And he is a rewarder of faith. You have the faith, the degree of faith, the amount of faith that you want because it's all available. You want it, you can have it. But you've got to make the choice. to Step out and decide to be the person God intends you to be. And that means you've got to get you off your head. Now, it kind of sounds like I'm talking to a Bible school class. But the thing is, I do not see, kind of like the Moravians, they ask them one time, uh, y'all don't have clergy? Y'all don't have ministers? And the man answered and said, it's not that we don't have clergy. It's that we don't have laymen. That's why when I look at you, I don't see laymen. I don't see Christians or ministers. I see representatives of Jesus Christ ministers of the gospel, wherever you live, wherever you go, wherever you shop, wherever you work, you're a minister, you're a missionary put there to bring light and salt into that place, no matter what that place is. But if you don't be that light and salt, then your salt has lost its saltiness. It's good for nothing but to be trodden underfoot of men. You get to decide. All I'm telling you is you need to be as salty as you can get. You need to be the brightest light you can be. You need to shoot your mouth off and say big things for God and then step up and expect him to do them. There's been many times when I said, yeah, let's do this. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? Are you crazy? And we're like, then shot our mouth off now. Got to step up. That means we got to trust God. Well, I'm, I'm not ready to do that. You will never be ready. He's ready. And he's always ready. But I've never done it before. That's okay. He has. He's done it every time. He knows what to do. Just step up, put out your hand, open your mouth, speak the word. Trust him to do what he said he would do. Amen?